Hey everybody, we're back here in Zernowski, and today I'm going to focus on fixing the traffic issue. I'm not going to take cars away from people. Uh, I want to fix the roads so that it can accommodate them. And I've been thinking a lot about it, and I think tunnels, like I mentioned in the last video, I think tunnels are the way to go. Uh, I think tunnel could definitely do some seriously good stuff. And I'd like to get two different tunnels that bring people to two different spaces. So I've kind of given it a little bit of thought. I, I probably should put a little more thought into it. And so I probably will before I actually pull the trigger here. But most of the people that are coming through this way and are, are coming through this, this road here, they're either turning right at this area, which leads them to use this, right? Or they're heading straight and then either going straight forward or turning left so that they can get over into this area okay so what i'm thinking here is we need two different tunnels is what i want to do two different tunnels for two different directions and i think well okay not two different directions like they're both going to be two-way roads right but um they're going to lead somewhere else so one of the things i'm thinking about is where City Hall is right now. We're having it torn out, right? I've got the, the walking paths and stuff getting torn out because I can't connect the road if I don't remove the walking path. This is a lot of work, actually. I already got the fountain taken care of, the decorations and stuff. Those were pretty easy to remove. But if I'm going to break this down, I have to get it connected to the road so that they can break it down. But I think this is, again, like I said, a blessing in disguise because what I'm going to do instead, I think, is right off of this right here, I think I'm going to turn this into a junction that leads into a tunnel instead. And what I'm hoping happens is that the people who are over on this side that want to go this way, but they're going really far, they will take this road instead because it's a, you know, two lanes, it's a one direction, all that stuff. And they will take this road instead going all the way over. And I think I'm going to have the tunnel come out either right again not fully thought about this yet but either come out right here there is a, a pipe here i have to be aware of so that may not work or more realistically it should come out right here now there's a lot more pipes in this area but if i if i can get it to maybe come out this way and come up right here and connect to this intersection i think this could be a good thing the buses will have a much faster route now in going from that bus stop over here I mean, it's like a direct route, right? And that will speed up people getting on the bus stop to get over here to go to work. Uh, and this bus stop can also reach a lot of our production and stuff. The other thing that this does is it creates uh, a situation where all of these parking lots have a really direct route to all of these parking lots. And depending on where people are going, they'll either turn right here to get on this road. Maybe they're heading into this area that they didn't want to deal with all the lights. So they took the tunnel and went back from this side. That's good. We don't have a lot of traffic here and we can move traffic off of these roads and onto this one. I think that will be okay. The other thing is they could also turn left and head uh, over into this area. Maybe they are trying to get like over into this area or over into chemicals or something. And instead of taking the nice highway I've given them, they've decided to jam on the small roads for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know why they do this. All of these roads are lower speed limits than this. They just do it anyway. I guess it's just shorter. It's shorter distance, right? Um, so working on that, right? And so if I if I get the tunnel to come out right here, you know, if they want to go into this neighborhood, they'll take this road. If they want to go over into this neighborhood, they'll take this road. And also these two really don't connect to each other. So it's a discrete, like it's a different route completely it puts them over here or it puts them over here and that's pretty good so it kind of spreads them out right i want to spread cars out so they're not all going in the same direction and um i think that'll be good and also for a lot of the you know trucks and stuff that are making deliveries or you know the trucks that are trying to get around to deliver food or whatever um you know they have a more direct route to get over into here where the storage and stuff is and gravel and stuff is all the construction vehicles could have a more direct route too so I might end up having a lot more people using it is what I'm saying. And uh, on that note, there's actually a lot more space under the ground coming in right here. If I had it come up over here like this, 
that could be good too. I just worry that there'll be a lot more turning. They'll have to queue up twice as opposed to having the tunnel match right here. So if I was to go, for example, and do this, okay, and then we take the tunnel and we do this and we get underneath like this, okay? Let's say I bring these guys, you know, around from here. All right, that's underneath all these these pipes, which is pretty good. I could just bring this tunnel, again, under the city, all the way over there, right? And that's going to allow for, like, a traffic bypass. All this can be completely avoided, and you pop out right here. So all the routes that are going that long distance can take this tunnel. And routes that aren't taking that long distance, of course, won't. I like it. I like the idea of trying that. Um, so I'm going to leave the plans here for now. Uh, the other place I was looking to do it would be right here next to the orphanage. Because we had a lot of people who from this area who drive up and then they turn and then they're going through here, right? Um, and a lot of them, right, were eventually moving this way and now they're hitting the roundabout, which is much easier. But we still have a little bit of congestion going on here. Now, I need to study where they're actually traveling. But it is pretty clear, though, that they are, you know, heading from this direction to this direction. So if I can have a tunnel that does both of those things, that'd be cool. And I've been looking at, like, where this could pop out. I don't know if there's enough room for it, but, like, right here could be interesting to pop out for it. And then, you know, they're they're just here now. That might create some congestion with this area because there's a lot of trucks that spawn here. But as long as we're keeping up on supply, we shouldn't have all the trucks, like, spawning all at the same time. We have a lot of fuel in this tank. It's, it's full. So we don't have, like, all the fuel trucks spawning at the same time what would be even more ideal is if i could have the tunnel pop out right here and then simply meet, meet up with this road unfortunately the rail is here and so one way to get around that would be to get our rail to be a bridge i've been kind of thinking about doing this anyway making this an elevated rail from this point all the way around to this point and then dropping it down from here and then having the split happen a little bit later but I've been thinking about doing that and I, I just haven't done it yet because it's a lot of work. <laughs> I just, that's it. It's like, if I don't need it, then I don't need it. Um, and it, I may not need it still, but if it allows me to get, for example, this highway right here off the roundabout, if it allows me to curve this over and connect a bit more smoothly with this so that this intersection doesn't have to happen and we can just have it, you know, casually flow around this that would be even more ideal but yeah that's that's the that's the game plan for now i'm looking at tunnel possibilities and where they could come out and i'm thinking like right here could work because of the space that's available here uh the other idea the other space which may or may not be available is to just have it come out right here or have it come out over here because there's a lot of space over here and if we had it come out over here see where the rail tunnel is if we had it come out over here this provides cars with a lot of options, right? They get to go this way if they're trying to get into this area, right? They get to go this way, of course, and then around, and that and again creates traffic this way, but hopefully they will choose to turn left here. And maybe I could even give them a different route to get on the highway to head this way, right? I'd like, I'd love for them to get on the highway instead. They're gonna avoid this road because of gravel, but if I can just get that paved right real quick, which would be pretty easy to do, then they won't avoid that because of it. Um, but the other way is, you know, if I, if I bring it out here, so, uh, let's, let's take a look and see what that would look like. Obviously there's many roads here, so I don't really think it matters which one I tap onto here. So, um, why don't we go and do it to, let's say this one. So we go out about, let's say this far. All right. And then we have the tunnel down here and we go one, two, three, four. And I could probably just get that to round now. Yep. So I round that out and it comes, you know, straight out this way, like all the way over here. Right. And it's, it's just a big old bypass. Um, I equate this to having sort of a, uh, an elevated freeway, right? We don't have an elevated freeway in this game intentionally because I can't create intersections off of them. I would always have to drop those elevated highways down in order to connect things to them. Otherwise I'd have to uh, recess them. I'd have to put them down under the ground like this 
which kind of gives us a similar effect to a raised highway just in reverse right because it allows me to make connections but also roads go directly over top of them and this looks really nice uh, I do wish I would have made more highways like this and I will be looking to do more intersections and highways like this in the future because I think once we start getting personal cars running through this area you're gonna see so many lessons learned from over here are gonna be just cruising smoothly uh -huh. asterisk crossing my fingers wink wink haven't tried it fully yet uh, but I would really hope that that would be very smooth with all of these because there's not a single intersection in this entire thing not a one aside from um I guess you could technically count no I, you can't count that there, there are no intersections in this entire system yeah yeah the only account you can have is is the the roundabouts which apparently are not all one-way streets I didn't do that yet so here you go now I get to have the the game glitch out on me as it recalculates all the routes as soon as I unpause it oh or or now you could do it now too I guess there it goes <laughs> uh anyway yeah so let's uh let's first get this taken care of let's first get this broken down and then we can figure out where these things are going to go um I think maybe even three tunnels could be possible it's a lot of work but it's I mean this bridge was a lot of work and you see how many cars use that you know I mean it's used but not really um I want to have something that people are really going to use and I'm thinking there's probably no better way to do that I think and then a tunnel right here that takes people over here somewhere uh a tunnel right here we could put one right here that's possible too yep start right here and bring it all the way out that way and that's gonna let you know more people from the roundabout for example could immediately just get right in here that might that might encourage them to use this road more which I would really like to encourage them to use this road more I'm gonna put a left turn lane I think in here too because I think some of them aren't using this because they want to go left and they're not they're, they're like over here for example this, these guys right here if they want to go this way like to the left they're not going to take this road because they have to go backwards all the way to here and then around but if I gave them a quick left turn here like I've been doing on my new highways that I've been making over by the farms and uh, kind of everywhere I've been making a lot of these uh, if I was to do something like like this I have to I have to do this where these points don't exist so I have to remove this first otherwise the game will snap I don't like that so I have to bring this as close as I can to the road between the roads and you can do this with highways that are placed with that parallel like snapping to them right you can do this with highways that are snapped because I this is what that's what I'm doing right now uh and probably right about here is good and then we just kind of snap it in like this okay and then we grab this side and we hit f4 to put that lane snapping in and we do something about like that yep. and then it kind of calibrates itself to the direction it goes and if it's not going the right direction you just make it a one-way street in the right direction so we can add this as well I think this might encourage a lot of these cars to use this road because they can now turn around really quickly and just go as opposed to needing to wait by extra intersections lights etc this might help them I don't know that but it might um we don't have any in the other direction because there's no need for that but there might be a need to do it we don't need it here because they this is not that big of a deal and honestly they could just go this way um because this is already a cross street but I think right here will help that little that little turnaround here will help people to use this road instead I'm also installing a better logistics system for our fuel distribution for this new farm over here uh look at the fields they look pretty good right now don't they some of those aren't being worked just because the roads aren't done yet but that's okay that's for next year um so I've got a pump right here which is going to allow us to drop off fuel there'll be a distribution office right here this distribution office is going to take fuel from this and bring it to all the gas stations in this entire farm area all over on here okay I can't have the fuel rats doing that the whole time it just doesn't work uh so what we're also going to do though is you might see that there's a tunnel there's a, a pipe running underneath here this pipe runs maximum distance that I can that I can do all the way to this tank this tank is where the fuel rats over there are gonna fuel up you know you're gonna keep fuel in the tank okay they are gonna keep fuel here and so the trucks that have the fuel source from production over there are gonna bring it to this tank 
And then the trucks that are here will pull it from this tank via this, you know, unit here. And then it will distribute them to all the places that need fuel in the area. Yeah, cool. Also, we pretty much got all the rails done. There's some rails going right there. And this train is confused now. Uh, and then all over here, the bridge is now complete with this confused train. And now we have to do the crossing and then that's it. And then we will be able to actually bring crops over to meat. So I think that's actually going to happen this year. Pretty excited about it. In addition to that as well, we also have uh, this. This is a water loading and unloading station. And uh, we're going to have just water trucks for a while. Uh, I might change this in the future, but I don't think we're going to use as much. I don't think we're going to use enough water for it to matter. So it's, it's fine. It's a little ironic to say that because we're at the farms. Um, but we're going to have water trucks deliver water here. And then this will pump the water through this pump right here. We'll create pressure. Uh, we'll pump the water all the way around. We're following the roads, so I don't want to disrupt the trees and uh, underneath the highway to get to this water tower here. And then this water tower will now provide drinking water to this area, uh, as well as any other area that we want to feed it to. But it's really being fed right now by a very small pipe because it's just trucks. So we don't need big pipes. Uh, but in the future, we might hook up a well or something into it. And, uh, you know, with, with you know clean water, I hope anyway. Um, so anyway, we have uh, the ability now to, uh, because this is built, we're going to go in and grab my substation. And I just need water for these two buildings right now. I, I don't think anything else, yeah, nothing else needs the water. It's just those two buildings right now. So that's why I don't think we're going to be using a whole lot of water. And so really, I can just put this anywhere as long as it's in range of those two buildings, which is like basically right here. That saves me a lot of uh, headaches with the piping and everything. I guess we'll go... We'll go here with it. It's fine. Off of the dirt road instead. Yeah. Like that. And then again, really small pipe just right into there. Easy. Some of you guys might have noticed uh, a little while ago earlier in the video how I had almost no money. I think at, at some point I did have no uh, dollars at all. I purchased a used helicopter. The six, uh, the S62 Sky Crane. Purchased a used chopper. Uh, they've repaired it as far as they're going to, so it's 43% is as far down as they're going to go, unfortunately. But uh, I wanted to get this helicopter so that I had one for the farm over here. So uh, we're going to now change its workplace. We're going to come on over here. I wanted one for this right there. Uh, because we do have a reliable source of workers here now. It makes sense, I guess, to do that. So we'll do that. And then, of, of course, the helicopter can pick up its water supply from right here, so that's very easy. Uh, so now we have a Western helicopter over there in the farms and uh yeah it cost me a bunch of i think it was like uh 150 thousand or something like that dollars not that it matters because we're selling a whole bunch of oil there anyway so we would have been fine but yeah okay so this spot over here by the heater and Cernoski, i've decided i'm going to put a roundabout here as well i think with the tunnel here we're going to see an, a bigger increase in traffic and i don't really want them all hitting the same intersection like this so i'm pulling back this road from where the train tracks are i'm going to pull back this segment here leave this i i got some bypasses in these little dirt roads here so people can still get where they need to go but i'm going to take down this road back to the to the walking path remove this walking path temporarily so i can figure out where this roundabout's going to go and um, I, I want to say I'll probably end up pulling this road all the way back to here. But for now, I'm just kind of leaving it to try to assess things. Um, and then we're going to put the roundabout right here. And that's going to allow these guys to, I think, flow a bit smoother through this area uh, than, uh, than the intersections that we've had in the past here. Uh, also, just as an update, they are getting closer. It does take quite a while to clear this thing out, but they are actually able to reach it now. Once the walking path was out of the way, I could hook up the road connection and then it just breaks it down. So oh yeah, blessing in disguise is still what I'm thinking it is here. Okay, all the demo stuff is done here. All Getting rid of all that waste and stuff from the fire is completed now. So we're actually going to take, it automatically cues it to be, you know, constructed again. We're just going to cancel that. We're going to say we don't want it constructed again. Uh, and then we're going to go for the road being canceled there. And then real quick, just, just make that nice and clean as we do. 
There we go. Uh, we have this little walking path here that needs to be taken care of. But besides that, everything's out of the way. So I want to leave myself enough room to turn this into a roundabout later because I still think we're going to need to. But I don't want to disrupt traffic right now. Zornoski is really... It's, I don't want everything to come to a complete standstill at the moment. So we're going to avoid the roundabout, but we're going to put the tunnel in in a place where I can keep it well out of the way so that I have the option to do that later. And I would really like to have this little bit of mixed waste picked up, please. Somebody come over here and do this because that is probably going to be in my way. I have temporarily placed the, you know, the plans for tunnels and everything. I got, I got about six six different ideas maybe five five or we, we have uh, five decent ones six if i want to go a little avant-garde with it but uh, if i go into the underground view you'll see where two of them are placed currently so this one here i think will be very helpful we have a lot of these cars that are heading up this direction and uh they're congesting this road right here trying to get through uh you know coming back this way and everything I think if I place the tunnel right here, I might be able to get a lot of these guys that are going all the way through this. I might be able to get some of them to, uh, you know, not do this anymore. So I've got a tunnel that starts from here and it comes all the way over, bypassing all that traffic and pops out right here. And then that will get them, I think, a little bit closer to, you know, being able to get to some of these buildings and stuff if they want to. This is a tentative idea. That's why it's a plan. Uh, the other thing I've got, obviously, is this one here. Once we break all this stuff down, we'll have the roundabout put in here. But this tunnel here is going to wind its way around. And that's what's going to go where the city hall was. So this tunnel ends up being right here. I don't know if this is in the way. I guess we're going to find out. Um, I'm going to put, put the road tunnel right here. One, two, three... Uh, four, five, too short. Wow, it is. Okay, it needs to be a little bit further, or no, no, a little bit uh, closer to the road then. So we'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. It just does not want to get underneath that walking path, man. Ugh. That sucks. Yeah, I will need that out of the way then. I need significant distance away from this. So, like, the roundabout will probably end up being... A really small one, kind of like right here. Now, somebody out there wanted to light a fire, right, on the beach. You know, they're just having fun. But there's a Karen over there in that house. She had to go ahead and call the fire department. So there's fire trucks on the way to help put it out. It's at 67% uh, wear and tear now. But at least they could get there. Yeah. Uh, so I've got a makeshift roundabout kind of started here. I don't know how good this is going to be. I don't know what's going to happen with it. But we're going to turn this road into a one way. This is a one way. And then a one way all the way around here. And then, uh, you know, we'll get like a little sort of, I don't know road that kind of just does this to make that a seamless thing and then we use the same rules as we did before where you know if you're in this area you have the right of way always even though it's a sharp turn you still have the right of way all the time and we'll see how that goes and then they're going to start on that tunnel all the way out that way if i head all the way out uh this way you can see that this is almost broken down so i still have some work to do over there once that's completely done we'll, we'll do that uh, in the meantime, these guys are still cramming, man. Jeez. Everybody's trying to turn left, turn left, turn left. I got to stop these left turns from, I don't know, existing. Getting all jammed up. And I'm, this is the, some of the stuff I'm hoping to solve by having these other tunnels, right? So instead of having to go up through here and end up over here, maybe you'll want to come out here and then come this way instead. I'm not entirely sure. To be honest, I, I almost feel like I should be having the tunnel come out here instead of here and then that way they can just be here and if they want to go that way they can continue on but i'm just worried about it adding too much traffic on this road i guess we'll see if, if i have to tear it down i'll tear it down partial part of the way you know maybe we'll tear it down over to i don't know tear it down to about here and then we can just build that out and do that see if it works 
I could always get a different tunnel to do that too. I could uh, have a tunnel start here, for example. Have one start right here and it comes out over here, you know? And then, then you got, these guys got options at that point. You know, maybe that's how I want to play it. I don't know. Uh, let's take a quick detour over here to Warstock because my construction office finished in Warstock and I went ahead and purchased a bunch of vehicles and they are on their way. Here they are. And I just realized Warstock doesn't have a gas station. That might be an issue. There's just, there's just no, I mean, you could use these, but that's for the farms and stuff, the farm vehicles and stuff. I don't want to crowd them. They are starting to harvest now. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Does that mean, does that mean? Yes, we are harvesting our crops now. There we go. That's beautiful, isn't it? In it, in it, in it, beautiful, in it. I think it is. This tunnel or this pipe here's got 87 mere work days left, and then we can start delivering water to these poor saps. Yep. Well, these pipes here have to be done too, I guess. There's two separate segments here. I didn't know that. Hang on. Add that and add that. And then we'll get the workers on there too. Okay. And then we can deliver water into this area. Uh, and the rail is completed. Very good. So that means I can get, uh, well, that means I'll, I mean, all these trucks are going to move down and they're going to start depositing, right? All the stuff into here. They're going to come, they're going to turn left right here when they do. So it's going to give them plenty of room. Uh, but let's come over here really quick. So the construction offices, right? I want to make sure every single building has everything it needs delivered because I have a little bit of a steel shortage right now, which is why there's, a, there's a few things that aren't delivered. I mean, most of this stuff is just waiting for the workers, right? So pretty much everything is waiting for workers in order to continue. A few of the buildings, the helicopters are bringing workers too. So there is some progress happening. Um, but we have to, uh, you know, still deliver resources in order for that to be a thing. It's specifically steel and boards, which won't be too big of a deal. Uh, and then some of the buildings are done already, right? Shopping center and stuff is done. So we can bring this back to a... I like an 80-10-10 split myself. Uh, because they don't really use, they don't really take clothes and electronics very often, but they will do, this is, well, that's, I did some voodoo magic and it, for a second there it was 101%. And then there's the meat here, which we'll have to deliver via train over to there. And then the distribution office will take it in to where it needs to go. Uh, yeah. So anyway, with these construction vehicles, they're off to go get fuel and then they're going to report here. So I want them to have these resources. There we go. So they'll have steel, brick, prefab boards from here. And then we should probably deliver some mechanical components in here. But to pick them up, you're going to have to... I think you're just going to have to pull into here. So I'm going to say that you get your electrical and mechanical components from this. For the amounts to drop off here, we kind of need a little bit of everything. I don't know about fabric being needed here. We'll pull that back for now. We can allow a little bit of elect, uh, a little bit of um, alcohol. Electronics will be needed, but not in a whole lot. Twenty-eight, I think, is fine. Mechanical components, you're not know, going to want repairs and stuff later, I guess. So, why don't we try this? Let's fill it up with food and crops first. So we'll just go food, and then we're going to say we want, you know, maybe that many crops delivered here. I mean, we're going to need actually a lot less than that. Let's let's try, let's try this. I think that's a pretty good split. But then we need to introduce some chemicals. We need clothes. We need electronics. We'll add a little bit of alcohol. And then we can start taking this stuff down a tad. So I'm going to say maybe maybe we do like 3% on the alcohol. Maybe we do another... Uh, I think electronics is fine at 26, actually. Clothes is probably fine at 36. Maybe we'll go up to like 7% with clothing. We'll readjust the numbers like that and then i think chemicals needs to be a little bit more just to make sure we have that overflow so i'm gonna say let's try to get to around 30 tons or so instead maybe we'll go eight percent actually i think that's probably a good match there and then we have to deliver mechanical and electrical components for these guys to be able to build with them to maintain with them this these guys are also responsible for you know reconstruction and stuff too right so we need to have all the stuff that they would need for that so i think we will take mechanical components let's go two percent here two percent here 
I don't believe we'll need anything for fabric in this area, but those two things here are needed for reconstructing buildings and everything. So we'll do that instead. So there's a little bit of a, of a supply on that too. And then that way this can use this building for those resources. Cool. Uh, I'm putting in a path. Uh, the, uh, the road here is going to have the one with the street light and the sidewalk. Only on this section, though, because I need the streetlights and the extra walking path distance in order to get the most people possible to be able to walk in here. Because you'll see that the walkway actually is done already. That's cool. These two are not. But this is going to allow everybody that lives at least in this area to reach the food factory with the exception of this building here. This one will not be able to reach it still. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just, just too far away. Every single sidewalk... I mean, I, nothing they're going to do about it. I mean, I guess I could put like an underground pathway here and just have that connect here. That might shorten the distance slightly, but I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe if I made a uh, underground path here and have it go to there, I still don't think it'll matter. And it's not a big deal because we need workers over here anyway in these buildings. So there's the police station here. Uh, somebody said uh, in a previous video, like when I, when I went to do the Zazz, the, the, the Lanos, right? That my new car. They said I had police. If I go down to all map, it's going to be very difficult to find this. Yes, like I could. I kind of wish I could. Like, here, let's go police car. All right. Now, they said I had the Lanos as a police car. And I do. In Magnetograd of all places. So it's not the first people to have a Lanos in my Republic. Because some of the police have them, okay? Now, this is a different kind of Lanos, okay? But it is technically a Lanos, so thanks for pointing that out. Makes me feel real great. <laughs> anyway, yeah. How many personal cars? We have 51 pages, guys, of personal cars. <laughs> there are so many people on the road. This is why my frame rates are shitty right here. <laughs> but look at all the Lanoses. That's the majority of our cars. That's how quick it was. The majority of our cars, right? No, not quite. Not quite. We have the first 30 pages is not Zazlanos. Okay. Not the majority, but still, there are a lot of vehicles that we made ourselves. Look at this. That's a lot of them. All right, cool. Just checking in on that. All right. So to get, I've been spending money like crazy. I, I just spent 6 million rubles on all these vehicles for this office so that they could take, you know, resources over here. And uh, they've got steel delivered here already. All right. But I'm having a problem with steel over here. So let me just go real quick. One second. Let me make sure they're auto searching. Auto searching. You are auto searching. Good. I'm going to go. A thousand's fine for now. And then you can do reconstructions as well. So let's, let's do two thousands. Um, we'll eventually want to add more vehicles to this. This isn't very many. It's just uh, three flatbeds. And there's uh, two of the excavator. Uh, sorry, three excavators. Uh, and then there should be a covered hall coming too. One of the T-815s should be on its way. So it maybe, maybe it just didn't arrive yet. Uh, but I have a steel problem over here. And... Well, at least I did. I apparently don't have it anymore. Uh, the reason for it, though, was because I wasn't processing coal anymore because our dumps filled up. And our dumps are still full. They're, they're all maxed out. So we're going to have a lot of garbage coming through this area again. We're going to be dumping a lot of garbage over here too. And uh, the reason for that was because of paving this path. I had just forgotten about it. When you disconnect a source from one of the distribution offices or technical service offices, when you disconnect that source, it removes it from all those offices. So it ends up being not assigned. When you reconnect it to the road, it doesn't just remember that it's supposed to take it there. You have to manually reassign that source for every single office that was going to that location before. And so I had forgotten to do that. And then everything just filled up. <laughs> so, uh, whoopsie. I probably lost a little bit of my population for a bit there too, but we've recovered. It's, uh, we're almost 59,000 now. So, I mean, at least there's a recovery there. Uh, we now officially have crops delivered to this gigantic thing. That is great. And these vehicles are going to be uh, working for me for all of this. So I'm thinking we don't, we're not in a hurry to get a train. 
right? It's not that big of a deal yet. We want to, you know, see this thing fill up and everything and get more offices online. I do have this office that just finished. So its vehicles are here now and they're going to go out and start, um, you know, handling the fields enough. Every field is assigned to a distribution office now. Um, so if, if we start to grow and we didn't grow anything here because the roads weren't done when we started doing planting. Um, but for the roads that were done on planting, they have crops growing. I don't know if they're going to finish, but they should. I mean, we're harvesting in July, so we did, I think we did okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And then for any additional fields beyond this, we'll have a second farm and then a whole bunch more fields. And then, uh, distribution offices, again, are kind of spread out. And then, uh, we'll most likely want to have another one of these over here. And I'll probably put it closer so it can be more surrounded, more, a little more central. And then this rail, hello. Yeah, and the, the actually the reason why I found out I wasn't I didn't have any steel was because of these guys, because the office told me it didn't have any steel to complete the construction on these rails. I'm trying to electrify them, okay? For the peanut gallery, all right. Yes, we are electrifying our rails. We do this every so often. We do this, and uh, there is a little bit happening right here, and a little bit of segment right here, and then this segment right here. I think that's it, and then we will be electrified at that point all the way up to here. We should be electrified all the way to here if I go like this. Yeah. So right there is where we need to start electrifying again. So we still need diesel trains to get these crops over to the meat, right? And that's what that's what it's all about here. We still need that to happen. Um, but you know, I'm slowly rolling out electric rail on the places that matter. And, you know, these areas right here is not in the way. So that was pretty easy to electrify. But we're starting to get into this area here where it's going to be in the way. And so small segments at a time, track builders go and do it and get out of the way. Small segments at a time, all these tiny little sections, all are going to be people, you know, or, or trains in the way for all of this. Look at this one right here is, oh, this is a wooden rail. I didn't even, this isn't even concrete. Yep. So I'm going to need to do that. This one right here too. This is also a wooden rail. Wow. Yep. I didn't even redo that. So there's a little segment of wood rail right here too. So that's a thing. So some of these things will take a little bit longer, but, uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're cruising. I just need to take a little bit more time and, uh, we'll, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Uh, and then all this stuff, man, we're getting real close to having all this stuff done too. We've got decorations right here. Uh, obviously the water treatment center is going here instead. Uh, and then I got to figure out, you know, where is the, the source of this water coming from? Where is the well going to be? That's, like, I don't know because everywhere I put a well, it's low quality and it's just going to require more chemicals to, to treat it. I mean, I can do it, but all right, where the hell's the well, right? I mean, I can do it, but it's, it's just low quality, right? 82%. It's like, ugh. if I do it over here, it's a little bit better. But as soon as I start building things over here, the water gets reduced. So I like placing wells in areas where it's mostly completed so I can get a good, accurate look at what the water will be like um and, then, and if i put it way over here that's cool you know 93 percent is better but i still have to get workers here too and uh so it needs to be close enough for you know people who are living there 85 percent, yeah it's it's really maybe i can just deal with 90 you know as long as it's in range of people you know right there these guys will be able to walk there you know walking distance to the well is good it's a long walk but it's Still walking distance to the well and i'm at 90 percent how about here should be able to walk there mm, not really no it'll have to be on this side 87 89 90 i think we'll deal with 90 just the way it's gonna have to be so we're gonna put the well back here let's say right about yeah right about here A slight rotation allows that to happen. And then, um, I mean, I don't really want a big road here, but if I don't do the road, then I have to do the walking path. So I'm thinking, you know, we can, mm, well, maybe not. Maybe I can do this. We'll do it with the lights. Yeah, we'll do it with the lights and we'll have it cross right over here. And then that will be a better way, I think, to making sure that these guys can get there. They'll use this. Uh, I think the lights are supposed to be on the other side, but that doesn't matter to me. 
I'm good. So we'll just do this and then let's just check the, the walking distance. Oh yeah. All right. We're fine there. So it's, it's not the highest quality water and it's a little bit far away from the treatment center. So we need to pump it past it. We're pumping it past the tower into this and then to the tower from there and then out. So it's kind of a cycle that's going to happen here, but that's all right. Um, so we'll take the big pipe. It's going to go out this way. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. All right, we'll take it and go under the, we'll go under the road then. We'll go right here. Yeah, it's kind of in the way of this. I don't want to be in the way. Let's remove this. Let's go out this way first. Then we'll go down this way and then around under the road because why not? I guess at this point and then in one of these, it doesn't matter which one right there is fine. Um, all right. So from there, we now need to, we need to put the pump in place too, right? So we're going to say probably the pump will be here, I guess. We'll just put it right in front of this. So we'll do a big water pumping station, right? Like this, that should be fine. Put this in there and then you are there. Okay. That cooks the pump up. Good. It goes into this. Then you are going to pump into a reservoir. I think first, because I want to be able to take water that way too, not just in this area. So I think we'll hide a reservoir right back in here like this. Yeah, right here. And then you can just have, have that, I guess. And then uh, the big pipe will send you this way. But I need a pipe. I need a pump again. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Big water pumping station put another one right back here behind the police department. All right. So we'll go into this one and then you pump into the reservoir. And then because it's underground, I'll need another pump to get it out this way. And that's okay. I just want to have a, a big, uh, I want to have a lot of extra just in case we run out of chemicals. I want to have a lot of extra because it's really far away, right? When you're really far away like this, you need to have a good supply because it takes a while to refill. And that's another reason why I'm like thinking I probably need more chemicals in here than 36 tons. Like, why don't we, why don't we do this even more? Let's go like 12% here. I'm going to be okay with 54, I think here. Uh, and then we will, uh, have water. It goes this way and, uh, and then the water will also go in this direction too. So another, mm, I don't need to use another one, right? Just use the same one. It's fine. We'll use the same one. We'll just have you go from this side. And then this one will go this direction into like that. Yeah, that's good. So we'll just use the same pump. And then maybe we could even, I don't know, do two. I probably need two actual pumps though, don't I? It doesn't matter. We're just filling these tanks up. And then the tanks will distribute. All right. So we'll work on plumbing and stuff now. This Again, these, these buildings finished with workers before I was ready. But I do want people living here as soon as possible so we can start cranking this out. So I, I guess it's fine. They're not going to be sitting here for many years at least. And uh, we have to do sewage and stuff too. But I'm going to do that too. And sewage is going to run into here. Here's my treatment small treatment plant. Right? And then they'll treat it and pop it into here. And so we'll have treated sewage in this area so that when we have nice, you know, we have a beach or something through here. You know, it's a role play kind of thing. Fine. Deliveries are happening. Everything is pretty smooth. And uh, over here on this side of the farm, right? We've got uh, electrification rails happening still. I've got this now built. Feeling pretty good about that. And uh, we also have this tank over here. There it is. Tanks built too. So I've got it set to store fuel. And I just told one of the fuel rats offices to keep this thing at 50%. So they're going to bring over a lot of fuel. And that's okay. Uh, I probably don't need 50%. That's a little bit. I think that's a little bit too much, honestly. It's maybe maybe we'll tone that down a little bit. Let's bring this down and say, uh, we'll just keep it at 30. That's fine. I just want a bunch of fuel in here so I don't have to, to worry about it anymore. All right. So a bunch of fuel will be in here. You go away. Bye. Did you electrify the rest of it? Looks pretty good. Uh, we're not going to electrify this. So this is just a wooden crossing that the track builders are using to get to the other side of the tracks but for electric trains they won't care about this and it's in the intersection so it doesn't it doesn't affect any signaling or anything like that um 
so yeah we're gonna hopefully see uh what are you guys doing oh the the pipe isn't done or maybe it is now i think you just finished it didn't you yeah so this pipe is now finished all the way out to here which means yep there it is we can now see fuel is being dumped into here right there yep that office is now dumping off all the fuel so now what we can do is we can grab from this office aha so from this office we can go in and say oil tankers and i don't need big ones i'm okay with little ones honestly they don't have to be super uh, 11 these ones are cheaper these are like the old style the t-130 i think we should go old school here 70 kilometers an hour i mean it's a little slow for our current modern times though maybe we could go by speed 95 eh mm, and that's not actually that's pretty cheap too shit i like these little guys one two three four five there we go so this is going to be the office that is responsible for all gas stations in the entire farming operation and keeping them fueled up this one right here and it'll just get the fuel from this source here so we can now start adding sources one i don't know how many gas stations there are up that are built yet two this one's not built yet so that's just the two for now oh right here three three and is that it we're gonna eventually have one way over here too uh, i just haven't built it yet Hmm. yeah i'll probably put it right here actually uh that's it just these, just these three all right so make sure they're 30 let's go 40 percent full all right cool so when those cars arrive when the trucks arrive uh then they can just immediately begin because there's already 22 tons of fuel in here for distribution and one of these offices is already more than that full so we're, we're good there uh i can also actually what i should do is this i should also have you refuel here to keep all the farm vehicles starting with a full tank when they when they go to farm yeah that's a good idea uh and then why don't we keep a couple of these distribution offices going too i like it yeah these distribution offices too and then we can start removing distribution offices if we add too many um if we add too many gas stations and stuff we'll just start removing the distribution offices it's fine because those they can they can go to the regular gas station it's better for me to have gas stations refueled than it is to have these offices refueled what are you doing did i accidentally i did i accidentally told you to but well on the plus side it'll all be it'll all be done i won't have to worry about it later i guess sure whatever i'll just let you build it uh more collisions from the trams uh, and then this is where our fertilizer gets dumped right there is what we're storing fertilizer in here uh the fertilizer is usually from the distribution office doing this at least it has been as far as i'm as far as i'm aware uh let me let me see if i go hi i want to say that this office was being filled by cars not by the train even though this is hooked up i don't think it was actually having that happen yet all related vehicles uh, these are all trucks yeah so trucks have been handling this one and it's full because these fields kind of take care of themselves you really only need this stuff if you know if you're just starting out a new field then you can get a jump start on it but otherwise you really don't need this stuff so it kind of fills up and uh I, I wish you had to use it every year but you don't unless you want to have a hundred uh, these are all 150 percent right fertility if you want to get them to 200 percent which we can do that is an option then you have to use liquid fertilizer and that requires uh ongoing cost of production it requires chemicals and uh stuff that i'm just not interested in providing yet i don't really care about that right now uh so yeah there we go i think i've pretty much covered everything i wanted to cover in this video other than the fact that we need to drop these crops off at meat and i wanted to have that done before the end of the video too so meat train just sits in here and that's fine uh, and then these are now built okay I, I wanted to have these built first and they're they were waiting on workers for a while there so uh what we're gonna do is have this forklift we're gonna say we'll just get i mean i don't really care if there's four of them we don't need four of them but i'm just gonna get they're cheap and then let's make sure one of these offices are also gonna do that keep that fueled up and ready to go uh and then this is going to pull from this source you're going to load from here you're going to unload here and unload here 
to keep these at 100%. Because our distribution offices will pull from these two sources. This gives us five parking spots for trucks to bring crops over there into eight different cattle farms or cattle ranches or whatever they're called. Um, so that's great. That's what this is going to do. And those uh, forklifts will be on their way now. So next is buying another train. Um, I actually have a locomotive in here I'm getting repaired. This is usually for passengers. I mean, it's only at 4% wear and tear you don't need to be in here for any more repairs you can go right you should totally go i think you should get out of here you should go four percent you're good uh but let's let's buy another train i want to have you know what i don't want to buy another train the next time i buy a train i want it to be electric so I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna take one of these preferably one that doesn't have any cargo with it right now if you don't have any cargo you know, I could just use the distribution office, right? I, I could. There's trains in here. It's got boxcars. It doesn't have a whole lot of boxcars. I actually don't remember how many boxcars I gave this thing, but... It's only got two boxcars. I mean, I could bring more to it, right? I mean, we could we could do that. Let's, let's do that. This vehicle right here. I'm going to pull this DR Class V. You know? You're not going to... Oh, the depot's probably... Is the deep... No, depot's not full. You just don't have a way to get there. Which is untrue. Well, it is kind of true. No, you can go through here and then all the way around and then and then in. You know? You could do that. You could go all the way in there. Not this one. A different one. One that's not working right now. Yeah. That's weird that it won't, it won't send here. Isn't that odd? It really should send here. You can go to this one, though. This says the first stop is unreachable. Why is that? Oh, you can't get... Okay, I know why. You have to do this way. There. I have to open that up. I closed it because trains that have no business being in here were going in here to get repaired. I want them repaired over here. Okay, so I should now be able to send this train. Not not this one. The other one. Yep. Should be able to send this over to this depot now. And I really don't need it to go to this depot. I just needed it to get out of here. Get on its way so that I can give it a custom route. There we go. So now I can give it a route. So what I want to do now is send you to... doesn't really matter where I send you. You know what? I haven't picked up anything from this yet. I'm going to do it from here. Because I haven't used this yet. So we're going to say you load, and we're going to go with more box cars, I think, here. So let's say cargo wagons, and I don't remember which ones we got. We probably got these ones because they're like the slightly bigger. I'm going to say one. Uh, how many do we want to buy here? I'm just going to pick up this, right? Yep. And then you want to take that um, over here and do nothing. You're going to well, unload, I guess. Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's your route now. So you should be going here to the Molka Medium Custom House, right? That's probably a bad idea, right? Because he can't he can't load very much here. No, no, I'm not going to do it just for the sake of doing it. It's less efficient to do there because he, he can't get there. Or he, he can get there, but like he can only pick up one car at a time. That's not going to be good. Nah, I don't want that. Never mind. Uh, you get rid of this. You're going to load something cargo wagon. And specifically, because I have many different choices here. So not cargo wagon. You're going to do the 27. Yeah, this one right here. Okay. You'll do that instead. Yeah, yeah. And now I can buy them here. So buy. Make sure we don't already have them in here. Uh, nope, we're good. All right, so let's take and buy box cars, box cars, box cars, cargo wagons. This one here. One, two, three, four. We'll go four. Chances are six box cars. Let's see, six box cars. It could have we could afford more, but I'm just gonna do that much. That's not the that's not the main purpose of this distribution office. But it could be. I mean, it's, I guess, I guess we could make it that purpose. It's right there and it can easily do it. So 
Um, we just we don't have the the ability to do dedicated electric trains yet, just because there's not electrification all the way to this area. Um, none of this is electrified, as far as I know. No, all of this is completely just unelectrified right yet. So we still have to do all of this too. So yeah. Okay, I will bring you guys back in. That's not you. Or you're gonna go load electronics. Of course you are. Yeah, we're still. Uh, somebody asked me that question. They said they asked, uh, "Why are you still buying electronics?" Uh, from the border and it's um you know aren't you making them yeah. and it's um yeah i am making them but you see it's a supply and demand issue and i am not supplying uh the entire demand <laughs> so when my people do not have them available like over here there's 15 tons of them in here that's great but we should be pulling them out of this and sticking them in here and there's 17 tons here and that's good too I like all that. Ooh, look at all this metal scrap coming in here. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to be good on steel now. Bam. I like it. You know what I should do? I should tell these guys to pull steel out of this and, and put it in here. Right? That should be a thing. They have this as a source, but I haven't done that yet. I'll always do it from this one. Yeah. I'm going to copy it to all of them anyway, but... Um, and then I was thinking about actually adding another forklift in here, but I don't see a, re a place where I could do that. Yeah, I can't really do that anymore. I guess I could, I could get rid of this and then put another office here, but then I don't have any way to hook it up to the road. So nope, it's not going to work. Uh, okay. So this is, no, it's the one that has only steel in it right here. This one. Yep you are going to load we do that zero right and so over here on the other one where we pick up steel yeah yeah we've been told to load from here only right so what we want to do is unload steel and like slam it to 100 percent. so we can take steel if it's here but we also use it as an unload source for full and so now we should see forklifts Taking the steel out of here, that's going to help us so that we can process more of this. Because otherwise, my waste trucks are just sitting here doing nothing. And that is a completely new problem. <laughs> Our inability to use steel fast enough. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, that is an actual issue, isn't it? Holy smokes. All right, time to sell steel again. Let's turn this back on. There you go. Go ahead, boat. Take all the steel you want, buddy. Because we haven't been making it. And there it is. We have all the steel we want now. That was fast. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the train dropped off the boxcars. All we got to do now is just add the connections. So we're going to say this is a connection. And over here is a connection. Right there. All right, cool. So now we just say that we want to unload the crops at this location. Max it out to 100. I, I think I'll go 80. Let's go 70. Because if I say 100, they're going to make a train, right? Because I'm not doing like wait till loaded, right? I need to do wait till loaded to have this be really efficient. Well, I don't want to buy any new trains, so we'll buy locomotives when we have it. Um, but I need to say like 70 or so, because if you say 100 on this, then the moment that, that uh, the storage drops to 99, it's going to prompt a train from that office to go and pick up only the amount that it needs. And so you'll end up with really small trains all the time when you could have had larger ones. But if you say, hey, keep it at least 60%, then it's going to wait until it gets below 60. And then the train will, you know, generate to the point where it can fill up that storage and you'll have a lot more delivered. And then this is fine if I do zero. But then again, the same thing happens where the storage is like 5% full. You're going to generate a train it can only pick up that much. So what we want to do here is have it be more like 40%. And that way we load when it's fuller, right? So that's what we're going to look at. Because right now it's not going to pick anything up. There's only 800. I think though, just to get the ball rolling and to make sure it works to test, you know, meet and also to end the video because I said I wanted to do that. I'm going to put this to 0% and it will, it will now generate a train to do this. And we can see what it does. So this is going to... Oh, okay. It's only, it only picks up 326 tons anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that's fine. We, we can do it as a slower percentage. Uh, a lower percentage because of that. So I could, I could make it make it 10% or so, right? 
10% makes this 1100. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, it would be fine to just leave it at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it at a smaller percentage is fine. But here we go. So now we have a train picking it up. And we'll send it over to. There we go. We're going to send it over to the meet. So I'll see you guys over there. One of the downsides of choosing the distribution office to do this is that we can't we have no control over the route that it takes so if it wants to take a really stupid route it's going to do that but the other thing is i just noticed as i looked over there is that this little weird route where it goes kind of through the city this direction and comes back it's the only way possible to get over here because i didn't connect it on all four sides so i need to connect it on all four sides on that one so when we look to electrify that intersection, we're going to add another connection there too. Okay, here we go. Train's dropping it off. Forklift spring to life. It's going to start loading it over into here and into there too. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm digging it. And so eventually this thing will be empty and the trains can continue doing what they do to try and fill it. And that'll be our overflow to both of these sources. Now, right now, every cro all the crops that I put here, they're not going to be used because nothing's been told to come, come and get them from here. But that's going to change as I add another distribution office. And since this crop, this farm here, as soon as this is empty, I think I'm going to delete it. I'm going to put another distribution office in here, one that has enough trucks that can, that can handle this. And then I kind of want to delete this and make this a two like a double highway road. I think it's going to be busy enough to, to warrant that. Obviously, I have to pave it and stuff too and do all the things that are necessary for that. I can also do this, I guess, as well. Help the flow of traffic that way, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I would like to have this be a double road. I might be able to get away. Honestly, if I could just... If I move these poles here, I might be able to get away with it as well because... Then I could have this can be the right lane heading this direction. And then it can just curve down this way. And then the road that I make here could then just connect kind of similar to what we've done twice already, like we did over there. And then we could kind of swap it. And then we have this road that's got enough room to get through here. Albeit we do eventually hit some other blocks as well. So maybe not. That might be one of those things where we do it when it's needed. Either way, though, I definitely want to pay for this. But I've demonstrated it works now. We have uh, a good supply of crops now that can be brought to livestock. And livestock can... We can start ramping this up. If I start seeing our crops are filling up and our livestocks are full on crops, all this stuff is good. And, like, the trucks are, you know, waiting for something to do that's when we start activating these buildings right we start turning all this stuff on brings even more people this direction and it should help thin out traffic so the next video what i'm hoping to see for the next video i'm gonna have to let it run for a while to really have that happen but next video we're gonna have a lot of things happen all right we're gonna have these this tunnel i think both of these tunnels will be done i'm gonna bring i'll, pr I'll probably bring you in next year at something but uh both of the tunnels will be done and then this whole neighborhood will most likely be built with all the pipes and the garbage connect connections and things like that. That'll all be taken care of. For garbage, this is actually an important thing to, to point out. For garbage here, we're going to have uh, a transfer station. I, I thought about putting it right here, but I would have to put a connection right there. And then I think a lot of these trucks might start using it, but I think it's a good idea. Um, so if I placed a, a crossing right here, what I want to do is have like some transfer stations, very similar to how we've we've done it over on that side with with Zernoski. Uh, but this is a big smaller scale because there's not as much room. But I like this location because it's out of the way. It brings the garbage away from people. So if it does start overflowing and it brings pollution, nothing's gonna it's not gonna matter. Uh, on top of that, for most of the year, this is not busy. Really, the only time these roads are ever busy is between July and early december and that's it by mid-december there's no nobody driving on these roads which means it's not going to be congested for garbage trucks taking it out of here um so i'm saying we take these big transfer stations right and i could do something like 
I don't know how well this is going to work because, to be honest, it doesn't look like it's going to let me fit it in here like I want. We're going to go like this. I want two of them in here. One here. And then another one right here. Hopefully, it lets me do that. It's a little bit tight. Oh, maybe I can go like this. Nah, it's just too, it's too tight. Damn. Well, now, hang on. Maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can have it be, if I just do it like this, right? We just put one here and then one here. I, I don't need them to come off the same road. They just need to exist. So maybe this is how I play it. And then we could do something like this instead. We could say, instead of this road, making sure I didn't mess it up, do this. Um, instead of this road, we can go here. And then from there, oh, come on now. Really? Even with F4, you're not going to do that? Wow. Okay, well, never mind. The plan is off. Back to the original plan. We, we cross here. We cross. Come on now. <laughs> Seriously, game. We cross here, go there, and then also we go there. That way, like, the trucks still turn, and they'll go in here to drop it off, but they'll also may just turn left and then drop it off here. And that's fine. At least I get two in there. Because I want all the different types of garbage to be here, and then we have another distribution office that's responsible for emptying this and bringing it over to this one. Okay. And this one's then going to have even more traffic to it because more vehicles will be coming to it. Uh, and then we already have the system in place to pull stuff out of this with this office and bring it over to where it needs to be. Uh, I could even have these vehicles be the ones. I'll just add more vehicles, add six more. Have these vehicles be the ones that empty this. But that's a lot of extra driving. I'm not sure it's worth it. Then again, if you think about it, you don't have to think about it very hard. If we have a distribution office over here that's responsible for bringing that garbage from there to there, it's going to have to make the same drive because they're going to come back to their home, right? So, like, it's the same amount of driving. The difference is, like, where it originates. And honestly, it's fine. I think that's okay. So, I'm going to just get a bunch of more, a bunch more T815s here. Uh, I'll get like six more and um, they'll be responsible for that because it only has nine tasks. So all I have to do is just add a single dump, you know, or I guess it'd be two of them, right? We add these two as a source here and tell it to empty and that's it. And then it just does so. And th at that point, it really doesn't even need to bring it here. It can just continue on and bring it all the way to the destination at that point because it's, you know, it's not very efficient. I get it, but it's what it is. Um, you know, if I was a thinking man, which I apparently am not, uh, I would have done this by train, but I don't have the room for it. And I guess I could do it over here. I suppose I'd have the room for it then, wouldn't I? But mm, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to do it right here. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.